The following video contains content and or language which may be considered unsuitable for younger viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Dave Madsen Enterprises, Inc. presents Dave and Friends, Episode 2, Broadcast News Around the world, across the nation and up your street, this is 41 Action News. With anchor persons Dave Madsen and Rhonda Raven. I'm Dave Madsen. And I'm Rhonda Raven. And this is 41 Action News. Our top story tonight? It happened. World War III. Rifts between rich and poor, liberal and conservative, race and race, and religious groups and secular organizations brought about the skirmish, which puts the lives of over 7 million people at risk. And according to a new poll, 90% said the animals are winning the war. The poll has a margin of error of plus or minus 90%. Flags were flying at half-mast in honor of our city's oldest citizen, Tiny Tony Tonelli, who passed away at the age of 117. City Hall had no luck in locating Tiny Tony Tonelli's parents, because they were already deceased. Tiny Tony Tonelli. Try saying that name 12 times fast. No thanks. It is time for our traffic report. 41 Action News traffic correspondent Kitty Hawks, who is one of our staffers who can fly, has this report for us from up in the sky. Kitty? Dave, it looks like traffic is flowing on all major roads. However, there is a massive backup on Highway 309 just south of downtown. The cause of the backup is unknown, but witnesses say it may be related to the recent heat wave. I'll have more on this story as it develops. Thank you, Kitty. In our feature story, we will examine the phenomenon of tantrums, and why people have them. They have been shown to be quite normal in children, but as people get older, they may become harmful. With a report on the phenomenon of tantrums is Beulah English. This is Beulah English reporting from the Franklin D. Flanagan Memorial Hospital, where I have been speaking with a head of psychology, Dr. Sigmund Colonna. I've seen perhaps 500 cases involving people who have had tantrums, most of them were little kids. And why do kids have tantrums? For a variety of reasons. This is mainly due to the child's id, often miscalled a fragile ego, which makes he can want what he or she wants, when he or she wants it. And I understand this is normal in childhood. True, Beulah, but I've seen cases in adults that you won't believe. Tantrums play no favorites with respect to age. One of my patients is a real tough case, Microsoft Sam. He feels jealous of Dave Madsen and Wally Warner having superiority over him, and often takes out his frustrations on one Scotty B. Free. Also known as Radar Overseer Scotty. Correct, Beulah. Sam always blames Scotty for something trivial. He keeps firing him, but Dave and Wally always beat on the firings. We have this footage of Sam reacting. Take it easy, Sam. You know your place in the hierarchy. Remain. Come. Oh no. Tantrum in five, four, three, two, one. No 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 damn 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 crap be crap crap crap. When I fire Scotty it should be permanent and overriding my decisions should be new to the ass wipes 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 ass wipes. There was a festering tick in Sam's brain that we detected and carefully removed, although he occasionally suffers relapses. Reminds me of older episodes of Saturday Night Live. It's classically called the John Belushi Chris Farley Syndrome. We had planned to show more of that interview, but the cameras cut out when Dr. Kalana himself threw a tantrum when two practical jokers who called themselves Mr. Sphincter and Ms. Rectum heckled him. Attention! Dr. Brackett, Dr. Early, Dr. Pierce, Dr. Green and Dr. Howard, report to emergency. Possible suicide. Repeat, possible suicide. Sorry for the interruption, but as I was saying, Dr. Kalama's tantrum knocked the cameras out and hurled me to the floor. We're both all right now. 
We will be conducting more interviews as we further explore the nature of tantrums. From Franklin D. Flanagan Memorial City Hospital, Ula English, 41 Action News. The type of tantrum Sam threw in the footage is known as the Katie Kaboom Syndrome. We know about it all too well, Dave. We have had a welcome change in the weather today, and with a report is our chief meteorologist, Microsoft Zira. Thank you, Rhonda. As you said, we've enjoyed a break in the heat pattern with much needed rain. Let's take a look at the current conditions. At the airport it is 75 degrees, 77 downtown, and 77 at our studio. It will be fair skies tonight, upper 60s downtown, mid 60s in the suburbs. Tomorrow, mostly sunny and pleasant with highs in the 80s. And our outlook for the next five days calls for pleasant weather throughout, with little or no rain expected. Thank you, Zira. Deal me in on the shark steaks. They'll look good on our propane gas grill. Just like Abby did, I can subdue a shark with my bare hands. I'd call it Jaws in Reverse. Here with our sports report is our very own Microsoft Mike. Thanks, Dave. In the golf world, Pete Quimby shot a birdie, two eagles and a crow this afternoon to win the James Gurney Blanston Open by three strokes over Hunter Wilcox. One of the leaders going into the final round, Liam Downs, had only one stroke. He was rushed to the hospital, where doctors gave him a transfusion of blood from the late supermodel Alexis Stonebridge during the operation. The alliance of American football may have suffered a premature demise, and the new XFL is still months away from its initial season, but the Global Football League began play this week, and here are a few of the scores. The Tigers defeated the Bulldogs 33-27. The Wolverines overpowered the Wildcats 44-8, and the Pelicans swallowed the Frogs 59-0. Nationwide, Los Angeles defeated San Francisco 23-14, Juno beat Fairbanks 13-10, the Cronkies stopped St. Louis 32-2, and Hammertown and Rivetania were postponed due to flooding. Officials say they won't know for sure when the flooding in Rivetania will recede, and they may consider forfeiting the entire season. And once the floods recede, they'll have to repair their stadium and resod the field. I guess their team is all washed up. <laughs> Good one, Rhonda. We have an update on what caused the traffic snarl on Highway 309. Just entering the studio is Kitty Hawks. Sorry I didn't have time to change clothing, Dave, but I can tell you exactly what happened. I was able to get a close-up on what was the cause of the traffic snarl. It was Volcana Ash, in street clothes. Apparently, she was frustrated at being kicked out of Hades and she wanted to get somebody. I tried to fly in the direction of the nearest law enforcement agency, but she soon spotted me. Hey you, take me to the Dave Manson Enterprises building? No way, Volcana. He's already spoken for. Alright, you asked for it. The blast left me in tatters and unable to fly, so I tried to orient myself towards the nearest swimming pool. Fortunately for me, the swimming pool at the El Chipo Motel had just been filled with fresh water. I did the dead person's float for a few minutes until Volcana's sinister laughter faded away, then swam to the pool's edge, climbed out of the water, dried myself off and raced back here as fast as I could. And what about Volcana Ash? Did they catch her? Not exactly, Dave. Nobody knows where she is. You'll be safe here, Kitty. None of our guards will allow intruders while we're doing this newscast. You're all heart, Dave. And all residents are advised to be on the lookout for Volcana Ash. It is best to lock your doors, board your windows and stay tuned for updates. Too late. I've already infiltrated your studio. I better duck and cover. Gotcha, Dave. Here we go again. How did you get past the guards? Their weapons were useless against my powers. I zapped them into T-bone steaks. Somebody tell Abby to hold the shark steaks. I think I've lost my appetite. That's not all you're losing, kiddo. Volcana has invaded our studio. The National Guard is on full alert and ready to move in. They won't stand a chance against me. 
And unless all of you watching this broadcast do what I say, I'm taking Dave to Hades with me. Ha 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 Ladies and gentlemen, we have had a temporary interruption in our program. We will return as soon as the situation in our 41 Action News studio is under control. Well, sure. That was a close one, Dave. Indeed. Just to bring you up to speed on our running with Volcana. Just as Volcana was about to take me away, our own Kitty Hawks leaped out from behind the desk, delivered four swift kicks to Volcana's crotch, freeing me from the intruder's clutches, and injected a serum which rendered her powerless. Police have taken Volcana into custody, and our city's citizenry can relax once more. And a last-minute truce has been signed to end World War III just before the deadliest weapons in the world can be used. All sides will meet at the bargaining table to iron out terms of the peace treaty next Tuesday. Two disasters averted. It's been quite a news day, Dave. Indubitably. And that's it for this edition of 41 Action News. And in the words of Edward R. Burrow, good night and good luck. This has been a Dave Madsen Enterprises Inc. production.